What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. I know you see the title of the video. And yes, I truly do believe that Baby Doge holders will be rewarded when it all comes to show. So remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. We're going to talk about why Baby Doge coin holders will be rewarded in the end and why patience is key when dealing with crypto in general. But anyways, we're also going to do a technical. So definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next. So definitely go ahead and become a member of the channel. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Not this financial advice. Let's get straight to it. So let's talk about some technicals first. So as you can see, yes, we've been talking about this 1250 support for a while. I've been mentioning this left and right that we're eventually going to hit 1250 support. And look, the second we hit the 1250 support, it did act as a minor support for us. But as you can see, look, the second it hit 1250, it started to go up just a little bit, got up to like 1288, and then it immediately went down and broke 1250 immediately. So at least it shows that we did have support there. And yeah, I pretty much, I was predicting this for a while now. I'm not trying to act like a guru here, but let's be honest. Watch my videos. You're going to see me talking about the 1250 support literally time and time again. You know, a lot of people want Baby Doge to be bullish. Like I made the, uh, talked about yesterday, Baby Doge is still bullish, but it's bullish in the long term. So this is just the short term chart that we're really looking at. But yeah, we knew the 1250 support was coming. I've been talking about the 1250 support since mid-May. So I knew this, I, I knew it was coming like mid to late May. I knew it was coming and it eventually happened. But yeah, look at that 1250 support. It's kind of funny because we knew it would happen. And I'm probably going to be buying more Baby Doge when we add another zero. I still believe we're going to go down a little bit further. And I'll tell you why. So let's go over here to the four hour chart. Remember the 15 minute chart, very short term chart. So we broke that 1250 support. And then the next support that I'm predicting right here with Baby Doge is the bottom side of this support, which will be around 9Z89. So that's nine zeros and an eight nine. So yeah, I definitely believe we're probably going to hit there next. So you're probably going to see Baby Doge trying to retest that 1250 support. And, you know, maybe it passes it, maybe it doesn't. But look, if Baby Doge doesn't pass that 1250 support, then we're going to come all the way down here to about 9Z98 right? And then we're going to stop at that support. And then from there, we're going to try to build up some momentum to get back up to at least 1100, 8Z11 pretty much. And if we get rejected again at 8Z11, then the next thing you're going to see Baby Doge do is probably going to be coming back here to the 9Z9 area. So if we hit 9Z9 or 9Z89, whatever one you want to say, just 9Z9 because it's easier, then that is definitely a good area to buy Baby Doge at. Now let's, let's kind of put some examples out there. So let's just say you have thousand dollars right and you divide that by one two three four five six seven eight nine that's nine z nine that's pretty much 1.1 trillion baby doge so if you can get 1.1 trillion baby doge at one thousand dollars guess what rewarders will be reward i mean holders will be rewarded in the end here with baby doge let's check this out so look at this this was actually posted by a baby doge army affiliate Shout out to Zelo's Ideal Habit 34. I don't know how to say your name. Zelo's Ideal, something like that. But anyways, it says dreams can become reality. Be patient. Spend what you can afford. The power of one trillion baby doge. This is a really good message. Shout out to this person as well. I butchered your name completely. But anyway, shout out to that person there. But um, over here, you see this is a very, very good and well thought out chart. So this is pretty much all trillion. So this is a trillion baby doge. Let's say you have a trillion baby doge. And like I just now showed, a trillion baby doge at our next target price will be $1,000. That'll be 1.11 trillion baby doge. So $1,000. I think everyone can probably save up a thousand. I know it's kind of hard in times like these, but we need to, we need to really come together and try to do that because you know this is a really good opportunity. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Dogecoin was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Shiba Inu was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Now, Baby Doge is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, there's going to be other coins, but for Baby Doge, this is it's only going to go up and go to the moon once. And then after that, yeah, we'll do a little bit of a pullback, but it's never going to go back to these levels. That's what I'm trying to convey to you all here. It's never going to go back to these prices. So anyways, this is 1 trillion baby doge. This is the market value of the coins. And this is whether it's cents or whatever. You don't even need to worry about the number of zeros here. You just need to worry about the market value, the baby doge of the 1 trillion, and then the estimated value in USD of what you will have. And then your travel to the moon or Mars or wherever you're going to go. But let's do this. So 
Right now, Baby Doge at the current price, one trillion Baby Doge is going to cost you about eleven hundred dollars. But if you wait until that new support that we're looking at, then it's going to cost you about a thousand dollars. But all in all, about eleven hundred dollars right now for Baby Doge or a thousand, right? And then let's just say we get to eight Z five. So that's eight zeros and a five. So if we get to eight Z five here with Baby Doge, I don't even got to do the math because they did it for me. So one thousand dollars now with Baby Doge at eight Z five will be. $5,000. Remember, our all-time high for Baby Doge is literally not that high. It was at 6.3. So if you can go from $1,000 to $5,000 inside of a realistic time span, that's, that's good. Even if you want to sell out at 8Z5, which I would not recommend. But anyways, 7Z1. At 7Z1, 7 zeros and a 1, Baby Doge of $1,000 now will get you $10,000 at 7Z1. And that's pretty good. And then when you look at our target price, this is the price I've been talking about. This is the target price. And I'm saying that like this because you've got to think about what happened for Shiba Inu and what happened for Dogecoin when they got listed to Binance, Crypto.com, Robinhood, Coinbase, Kraken, Voyager, all of these major platforms, all of these major crypto exchanges. When they got listed to these major exchanges, they went to $40 billion plus market cap easily, no problem. And that's what we're looking here with Baby Doge. This is the target price. Don't even look at 5Z1. Don't look at 4Z1. Don't look at 3Z1. Two, don't look at one cent. All that's unrealistic. Let's just be completely honest. The only one that could be realistic is 5Z1. 5Z1 is realistic in like two to three years. But right now, we're looking at within the next year, not by the end of the year now, because I thought we were going to get to 6Z1 by the end of the year. But if we don't get any exchanges, then it's not going to happen by the end of the year. We need these exchanges to do this. But anyways, like I said, when all, whenever we get all these listings, 61 is possible. And this is why. Because look, think about it. We have 420 quadrillion supply, right? And that's total supply. That's that's fully diluted everything. All the burned coins, everything. Let me. I'll just tell you now, it's 42 billion in market cap. So this is million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. I already did the math. I already did the math, but that's pretty much 40 billion inside of market cap, 42 billion. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a one, that's 42 billion in market cap, right? But we don't got that much. We don't have that many coins. We actually have uh, way less than that, I believe. So if I'm not mistaken, we're at like 237 billion coins. And it's really hard to tell because, you know, no one really has our coins updated. You see it says 159, 159 uh, quadrillion circling supply here. And then on the other one, it says something else. So I don't know what's going on here. We're either at 159 quadrillion or we're at like 237 quadrillion. Either way, if it's 159 quadrillion, then you already know, then that's going to be like 15.9 billion in baby inside of dollars, 15.9 billion dollars. And if it's 237 quadrillion circling supply, then that's 23.7 billion dollar market cap. So that's definitely very achievable. We can do this and I know we can. But uh, anyways, let's look up the Baby Doge Army again. So let's type in the Baby Doge Army. Go ahead and click here on the Reddit because I wanted to show you the actual like circulating supply because, you know, a lot of people do got it messed up. But uh, Ultra 243 always has this on point. So shout out to Ultra 243, always coming with the knowledge for the Baby Doge Army. So big shout out to Ultra 243. But yeah, this is where it'll show you the um, actual circulating supply. And it says it's around 224 quadrillion. So I don't know why it says 159, but it's just weird that there's different, you know, circling supplies. So this would be pretty much 200 or 22.4 billion dollar market cap, right? So this could be a 22.4 billion dollar market cap. You just go ahead and multiply this by 61. 1 2 3 4 1 2 and that is 6z1. So yeah, that's 22.4 billion dollar market cap. Definitely very achievable if we get Binance, Coinbase, Crypto.com, all these different major large exchanges, you will see that. So yes, baby dose holders will be rewarded in the long term. I truly do believe that. But anyways, let's talk about the whole overall crypto market right now. Everything's down. Everything's taking a sharp dive downwards. We got Ethereum down 8%, Bitcoin 2%, everything else down. Who cares what percent because it's not baby doge, right? But anyways, they're all down a lot. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to get at before I show you this. 12.5% for Baby Doge. Actually, we're down more than that now. Or, well, 11.3% is saying. But we're really all the way down at 11.69, 8Z1169. So that's more than 11.3%. So, yeah, we're down about 14, 15% for the day, which a lot of people don't want to hear that. But I like it. I love it. 
I want to see it continue to go down so we can get that discount. Because guess what? When these exchanges start to look at Baby Doge, we're going to the moon. And something else someone said, literally the first lady of France, the first lady of the France, which literally means the president of France, that his wife, the first lady, is literally rocking Baby Doge heels with a Baby Doge emblem on it. Like, come on. And it's pure gold. And it's a Baby Doge emblem on her foot. Like, come on now. I, I don't know how to, you know, emphasize this enough for people, but Baby Doge is huge in Europe. Baby Doge is huge internationally. So the fact that the first lady of France is literally rocking a Baby Doge on her foot, like, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, we literally got Baby Doge emblem flying in the sky, flying dogs across the globe, and literally spent $500,000 on that to rescue dogs. You literally got Baby Doge vans driving around New York City, saving dogs. You literally got all this stuff. You literally got Baby Doge's, you know, Lolo on the side of the biggest football stadium, which is soccer for you that don't know. And it, we also have the largest football player literally sporting Baby Doge and sponsoring Baby Doge. Like we literally got all this stuff for Baby Doge. So I'm really not, I'm really not worried about this drop. That's, you know, that's really what I'm trying to say here. But anyways, we already talked about Bitcoin. Like I said, I do believe Bitcoin is going to be hitting 26K. Bitcoin is going to be hitting 26K soon. I've been talking about this. I've been talking about how it's going to hit that $28,000 support. And it finally hit that $28,000 support. Next is going to be a $26,000 support. And then after that, I do not know. I only know right now $26,000 because that's really where the indicators are stopping at. So I'll know, you know, some more info if we do get all the way down to 26,000, then I'll know where we're going to go after that because my indicators will help me out there. But anyways, like I said, I'm not a guru here. But anyways, over here, we got the Baby Doge. Like I said, Baby Doge 9Z9. We're going to hit that very soon. This is pretty much all I got for you all today. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Really helps out a lot. It helps me know what you all want me to go over next. So just let me know. And if you want to become a member of the channel, that's how you can really get your request met immediately or almost immediately. Just let me know whenever you want me to go over something. Become a member of the channel. It's only $10 a month. Just become a member. Ask me what you want me to go over and I'll go over for you. I'll go over it for you immediately. And also remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be back with another video.